Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDC Joe Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Tauros today. This card reminds me a lot of Spirit Tomb, and it's like a... It, I don't think it's like a war Spirit Tomb, per se, but it isn't quite like Spirit Tomb, but it kind of is. With the attack Raging Bull, doing 20 plus 20 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And we can actually make Raging Bull do more damage thanks to Powerful Energy and Single Strike Energy. And of course, there is cards like Spike Mouth and Houndoom in the format to actually put damage counters on the Tauros. On top of that... There's also the brand new Old Cemetery Stadium card. And we also have Jinx and Spirit Tomb as another way to put damage on Tauros. So there's actually a decent amount of ways to pile damage counters onto Tauros. And that is what we're going to be playing today. Is trying to just put damage on Tauros. We can have 130 HP. We can actually put a Cape of Toughness on to boost that to 180 HP. Making us a little bit tankier. Um, even Takedown can power up Tauros' damage output. And we're going to be trying to make this work today. Um, kind of playing similarly to a Spear Tomb deck, but instead we have Houndoom. And Tauros being able to do the 20 plus 20, it actually can rack up pretty high numbers very fast. Like, you'd be surprised how much you can actually get accomplished with Tauros very quickly, thanks to all the ways you can put damage counters on it. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set code still, like Killing Rain, or you're looking for any other older sets like Battle Styles or Shining Fates or Sword Shield base set, get them over at Car Cabin. Or if you're looking for any GX or Fearless Kit or V promo codes, get them all over at Car Cabin. And if you do get any codes over at Car Cabin at the checkout, make sure to put in my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Car Cabin too. So big shout out Car Cabin. Check them out and use code LDF if you get any codes. Link down below. Also, why don't you check out the video articles I've been posting over there? It would be appreciated if you give them a watch. So, my Tauros list. This is what I'm playing. Um, obviously nothing insane. Tauros can hit hard though. And it's like a it, it's again, it's not like a worse spear tomb or anything, but I think it's like a bit it's a bit different than Spirit Tomb in a sense. Uh Spirit Tomb is still good. We are still gonna use it as an attacker because it is a dark Pokemon and Shadow Rider is fairly popular right now. So Spirit Tomb can still be very beneficial against the Shadow Rider matchup. The Tutu Houndum is really nice to be able to single strike roar to your Tauros to damage it. Um now, you could also play, like, Obama Snow in the deck. It gives Tauros even more HP. You can go next to 100 HP. You can actually give your Tauros 230 HP, which is actually pretty good. And that actually does make Raging Bull a little bit better um, because you can take more. You can take a hit a lot easier. Um, but I don't have room for Obama Snow. It's actually a very town space deck because we are going to be playing the Spike Mouth Engine. Whenever your whatever player's active Pokemon moves to the bench this turn, you have to put two damage counters on that Pokemon. We're going to Spike Mouth our Tauros with a Bird Keeper or a Switch, which will put 20 damage on it. So we are already going to self-inflict damage with Spike Mouth. And of course, we have the Jinx Spirit Tomb combo. We also have Houndoom's ability, which also puts two damage on your Tauros. Takedown. I mean, Tauros sometimes takes a hit from stuff, and then Tauros keeps his HP. There's a lot going on to kind of make um, make stuff work. Um, obviously, we are playing Crobat and Oricorio. We got the Mew in the deck, the two Jinx, two Spirit Tomb. Pretty simple Pokemon count. A lot of stuff we have to put in the deck. This is a single strike deck. We have to play a couple Urn of Vitalities for the single strike energies to make sure we don't run out of them or anything. So I'm playing two of those. I got four switch for the spike mouth combo. I was also playing escape rope. I cut it. Got four comp, four quick balls, one ornate rod. Very important to be able to get back your stuff. Um, now I am still playing the old cemetery. This gives us five ways to damage our Pokemon with the stadium cards. We have the spike mouth with the Tauros. Right, and then we also have the old cemetery so that we can attach the energy from our hand to one of our non-psychic Pokemon and put two damage on them. So old cemetery will allow us to put 20 more damage on our Tauros with an attachment. And sometimes we actually can go spike mouth and old cemetery in the same turn, which can put an extra four damage on. So you can kind of see how you can rack up the damage really quickly. Um, yeah, then we got the Bruno, the researches. I would like to maybe play more supporters. Um, they got two balloons for the pivots, four capes. Four single strike energies, one hiding dark for like Spirit Tomb and Hound Doom, two powerful energy for Tauros, and two basic dark energy also for the Spirit Tomb. That's the list I'm playing here. Uh, the first game, the list was a little bit different. I will say the first game was really, really good though, so I didn't want to cut it. But the first game, the list was slightly different. I did play more powerful energies. I didn't play the hiding dark energy. I also didn't play the balloons, but the rest of the video, it's a bit different. But the first game, I really liked. The first game was pretty good, so you won't want to miss it. Anyways. Uh, try the deck out. All right, getting into our first match with Tauros here. We'll see who we're playing against. I think the one match that we might want to avoid at the most is Urshifu, maybe. Um, okay, we got the Spirit Tomb. We have a Spike Mouth in our hand. We don't have a switching card, though, but we can try to get a switching card here. We'll see who we're playing against here. Ooh, Shadow Rider. Well, good thing we have the, the Spirit Tomb in the deck. 
but we can use spirit tomb alongside tauros to join together to take down the shadow rider deck that's pretty good in my books um okay none of those cards really help that's better okay so they do open with a cresselia put this into play we have to probably do crobat here right yeah we have no draw supporter of course we have to go crobat probably i think i'd rather go into a tauros if i can Look Ballway Boss. Grab Crobat. Where do I want to put the energy, though? I'm thinking about putting it on the Spirit Tomb so I can harder treat it. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah. Try to get a Hound Hour down. Oh, no. We can't put the Single Strike Energy on. That's right. Okay. Well, I think I still want to cape the Spirit Tomb. We'll do this. Sally's not going to kill me this turn. Okay. Nice. We got some Switch. Still no draw supporter, though, which is a little annoying. Um, Yeah. A little annoying me to get a draw supporter there. I guess. And yeah, not much I can do about that. Hoping for a draw supporter. No such luck. Maybe they'll Marnie me. Yeah, we gotta hope to get Marnie here so we can get a better hand. And we can go from there. Looks like they're gonna marsh out of my spike mouth way, which is fine. I mean we can draw an energy here. We can maybe attack and knock out the Shadow Rider this turn, I guess, with Spirit I mean that is a thing we can do. We can get some damage on the Tauros too, which is nice. Tauros can take a hit from Cresselia also, though, which is good. Cresselia only does 120 damage. Nice. Okay, we are going to get Marnied, which I'm actually happy we are because this can actually get us cards that can let us play the game, aka draw supporters. All right, there we go. Ooh, the Bird Keeper, but with no Spike Mouth. There's a Trevnor. I mean, that's a nice target for Tauros too and Spirit Tomb. Uh, Nightwatch is a little intimidating, though, not going to lie. It's gonna come out whether my opponent has a boss and my spirit. We need to get another spirit to in play. If we get a cape bomb, we can take a hit from Night Watch. That'd be pretty good. Um, we want to bench everything here. Play this. It's a bit of a tough scenario to be in, not gonna lie. Because we have a Bruno, but we can't get value out of it. I think we have the Bird Keeper and the other uh, Tauros. Oh, yeah, now we get the Spike Mouth. Dang, bro. Yeah, now we get the spike mouth. I think I'll still put into play. And we'll go. I think get a hound hour. Kind of was hoping we get a hound hour here. Um, I don't want to take the damage off the spirit tomb because we're gonna need all the damage we can to kill the Trevnor. It's gonna pass. Actually, we're not gonna play any cards from our hand because they do night watch me here. Uh, we need to make sure we have at least four cards, so there's a less chance they hit the Bruno, if that makes any sense. Ooh, they found the air balloon too. If we had a cape on, that'd be great, because we can take the hit here from the Trevnor. Um, but we'll see how things go. I mean, depending on how this goes, we might be able to KO it. We'll see. We have a two-card hand. Night watch. All right, we got to keep the Bruno if we're going to stay in this game. Let's go. We got the Bruno. Nice. And now the question is, is can we finish this thing off? I could go Raging Bull into the Tomb. We promote the Spirit Tomb, find a switch. Yeah, let's promote Spirit Tomb, I think. I think we always want to just promote Spirit Tomb here. Tauros, play the Bruno. Here we're looking at here. We didn't get a Dark Energy, yeah. We're not really... It's a bit of an issue. We're not really doing too much to my opponent. We get Building Spite. Um, switch into the Tauros. So we can at least get some extra damage in play. We have to, like, we're only going to put one damage counter on, though, which is also a little awkward. It's better to just take down, I guess, and just hit them super hard here with takedown. How much is that doing? 120. I mean, that's a decent chunk of damage. They might have a Malana. I don't know. Um, We just need to go into the Spirit Tomb. But I guess, like, we can build up enough damage on us to Poros. So we'd rather KO it that way. We'll see what happens. This is looking kind of weird. They got Shadow Rider finally. Now they can start drawing cards. If they find a boss in my Spirit Tomb, that could be a little awkward, but then we get to keep building up damage on our Toro. So if they kill my Spirit Tomb, they kill my Spirit Tomb. Gengar Mimikyu is actually pretty fragile. It's only got 240 HP, which is a bit easier to deal with than Shadow Rider. Per so maybe we can win by taking the boss knockout on those two. We'll see. 
I mean, they can kill me with Cresselia, though, which could be annoying, but I think they're just going to Nightwatch me. And they could take away my Bird Keeper, though. We do have a Calm in our hand, so if they if we keep the Calm, you can get an Oricorio GX, which is nice. That can be our kind of game plan. They put a Weakness Guard energy on a Gengar Mimikyu. Well, now we can't kill with Spirit Team. Well, Spirit Team could still knock it out with a bunch of damage counters. We don't need the Weakness. Um, no, they got rid of the Calm. And the Houndoom Bros are the two worst cards outside of the Bird Keeper. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll promote Tauros. I think we want to damage Tauros here. We'll see we draw. There's Cape. That's good. Now we can make a Night Watch. Bird Keeper into Spirit Tomb is really risky, but we'll see if it pays off. It might. Or Corio one time. No such luck. So we're going to lose our Spirit Tomb here, which is like our big ace in the hole. Which is unfortunate. We can keep damaging the Tauros, which is nice, but yeah, it's not good. We can KO the Trevnor next turn, though, with Tauros, but we just got to figure out a way to take out that Gengar Mimikyu. We have another Tomb in our hand, though, so we have that going for us. Losing the Spirit Tomb here does suck quite a bit, not going to lie. Definitely, it sucks to lose our Ace. But we'll see what my opponent ends up doing here. We need to get a Houndoom in play. That's the big thing. We want to find Houndoom. We haven't been able to find our Houndoom yet. I really want to get a Houndoom in play. Oh no, they could Shadow Mist me. That could be a bit of a problem. I mean, we can Hound Doom, I guess, around it, but that's still kind of bad. Okay, they're still going to Night Watch me. Please don't hit my Research. They hit both supporters. I mean, just why? <laughs> just why does that have to happen? Um, remote this, I guess. What do we draw? Quick Ball. I'll have to play it. Take Mew out. The Dark's in there. All right, grab Mew, I guess, and pray for an Oricorio to gift us with a supporter. Okay, nice. We got Bruno. We need Building Spite. Attach. Hoping for, like, switch combo here, but Houndoom would be good, too. Yeah, they got the Houndoom. Nice. So we do have a knockout on my opponents. We have to a little overkill on the damage counter placements here. Uh, we do have a KO, though, so what are we doing? Pokemon's attacks do six more damage. So we're doing a lot right now. They're doing a lot. They have 150 HP. Um, I want to put a damage on Spear Tomb. That's kind of like my thought process. The weakness card is a little annoying though, but we can still rack up damage on Spear Tomb anyway. So I think if we do go for the... I think we can take one off the Tauros onto the Spear Tomb. I'm pretty sure this should be fine. Raging Bull should KO them, yeah. Let me keep the damage on the Spirit Tomb for later. Good. We're going to get KO'd in return, though, unfortunately. There's a switch. That's a huge prize. Okay. We need to find the Dark Energy still, though. That's the big thing, is we need to find that Dark Energy. So now, uh, they can't kill with Cresselia. It only has 120 damage. So they have to go Gengar Mimikyu or Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider will get knocked out by Spirit Tomb, potentially. Gengar Mimikyu, we can also potentially KO. We'll see what they go for. Probably going to be the Gengar Mimikyu, but we do have a lot of damage we can put into play here. As long as we keep our hand, this actually should be fine. If we don't get Marnied here, I actually can see some good things happen. We'll see. I think we can win this turn if we keep the Marnie. So it's actually good that our Tauros can't get killed by Cresselia. Um, they could Astro... They could Shadow Mist me, I guess. That's not going to knock me out. Then we can, like, Bird Keeper and attack them again. But also, if they do Shadow Mist, we can't attach energy, I guess, which is a little annoying. No, they're going to Spirit Tomb me. Oh, they have another Mars Shadow. I was actually hoping they wouldn't do that because I could go Old Cemetery with Spike Mouth in play. That's annoying. That sucks. I was going to go for the Old Cemetery and Spike Mouth combo to put four additional damage on the Spirit Tomb, which I think would have been able to KO the Gengar. But that's annoying. We don't see a Marnie, though, so we get to keep our hand. We did just lose, like, the most important card in the scenario, though, which is pretty annoying. Do they do? I mean, maybe Tauros lives. I don't know. Maybe they don't kill Tauros. They're just one boss away from winning the game. So we have to win this turn or we lose. That's like pretty much the gist. Um, We still have boss, I think. We can still try to boss KO the Shadow Rider, I guess, which will have to be the play. We can find like, well, we need to find the Dark Energy. We can maybe get like Urn of Vitality and like power up Houndoom. Put two damage on Houndoom and then Jinx a damage off on Spirit Tomb. We'll have to play the old Cemetery, Cape of Toughness. We'll see what we can do. Oh, my opponent messed up. They just hit my Tauros. Won't KO me. Ooh, they're Spike Mouth. 
That was a huge turn. Okay. Now we are one boss away from winning the game, but we don't have boss in our hand. If we had boss in our hand... If we had boss, we still didn't have a way to... <laughs> to attack with Tauros, but... Still, that, that's huge. Now we want to keep the Tauros alive. This is really good. They just gave me a free turn, which is amazing. Um, we can't really do much with this hand, though. Okay, well, we can do this. We can jinx a damage counter off and put on Spirit Tomb. They definitely have a boss in their hand. So they're either going to kill Taurus or Spirit Tomb. Both of them are looking pretty right. Now, honestly, I'm not going to lie, bro. Um, we're in a really good spot right now. That was a huge mess up on my opponent's end. We have to switch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Professor's Research. We're just going to dump the hand and we're going to dig. We're going to dig. We're going to try to set up a boss KO on the Shadow Rider next turn. We just need to bring something to the active spot that can... I mean, it, I think it has to be Jinx, right? We have to switch into Jinx. Can't go into a two-prizer. Then we will actually do this and take the other Houndoom out of the deck. So next turn, we can win by either... Unless they play... No, they can't put a they can't put a weakness card on both of them. So we'll win next turn pretty much. It's like guaranteed. Um Get rid of the single strike. I don't think we care for it right now. All right, research. All right, we got the dark energy. We're going to put that on Spirit Tomb right away. Um I mean, they could play Tool Scrapper and win the game too. That would be hilarious if they play a Tool Scrapper here or a Tool Jammer. Um but I doubt they'd have they'd have that. Um we didn't get boss off of that, which is a little annoying. Uh, we still have Oracorio for next turn, though. Yeah, not getting boss off of the... The research sucks a little bit. We still have the Oracorio to work with. Oh, we're weak to Psychic. We can't attach to the Jinx to try to survive a hit from Photon Laser. Which kind of sucks. We'll put a cape on the Crobat. Quick ball away. Bike mouth, I guess. Then the deck as much as we can. Well, the boss is in there. We gotta pray an Oracorio gets us the boss. They could also boss... Like, I feel like they're gonna boss one of my big Pokemon here. Like, they're gonna either boss Spirit Tomb or Tauros. Both of them are very heavily damaged. Both of them have a lot of damage on them that they can knock out one of the big threats on my opponent's side of the board. So, we'll see if they end up bossing the Tauros or the Spirit Tomb. They could also KO Oracorio. Yep. There's the boss. What are they going to knock out? They're going to actually target my Spirit Tomb here, which is fine. It doesn't matter what they knock out. Both of them can take out anything on their bench, but it is interesting that they targeted the Spirit Tomb and not the Tauros. Then we just need to find boss to win the game. If we rip our boss's order off of this, we win. Okay, here we go. So we're drawing four cards. We have nine in the deck. We find boss, we win the game. We don't find boss, unfortunately, we are going to lose the game. There's nothing I can do about it. Otherwise, we just have to go for it. You can always, well, we'll see. We just need boss. No. No other play available, so I have to do the Oracorio and pray for boss. Here we go. Will we find the boss's order? We do. Oh my god, let's go. We bring in the Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX. Actually, we should have brought on the other one. And then we Raging Bull for game. How much is that doing? Max damage, 440 damage with Raging Bull. We do knock ourselves out, but we still win the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I should have brought in the other one, though, without the four energy on it, but it didn't matter in the end. Like, if they were if we were tying the game, I would have been like, oh, whoops, that was a misplay. There we go. We got the dub with the Tauros deck here versus a Shadow Rider deck. That was a pretty funny match. Kind of a close game, but I mean, it came close. But we do get to open up five plasma blast packs here which is pretty exciting and uh we'll open them up right now there's some decent cards plat secret rare candy full art jirachi full art Virizion, full art genesec secret execute and dust nor secret execute especially is a card that i really want so uh let's see what we get here out of our five plasma blast packs i am working on getting another big pack opening video for you guys i don't know if i'll get it out before evolving skies or not but We'll see how it goes. First pull. Ooh, we got a Dialga. All right. I didn't have that, apparently. So that's actually not a bad pull. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, it's probably worth like a fraction of a pack, but still better than nothing. Okay, my champ. No, come on. Give me a secret execute. That's the big money card we're looking for here is an egg. 
Full Art Gen Second Person would be good too. No, another Machamp. All right, this game really likes to give me Machamps apparently. Come on. Let's get through it. Platinum Blast. Let's do it. All right, what are we looking at next? Ooh, Reversal, Reversal Trigger. Hey, we got... Okay, whatever. I'll take it. Fuller Palkia. I actually didn't even have that. And you know what? I kind of like this card. I think it's kind of fun to play as a hit and run deck and expand it. Or Legacy. So that's actually a cool pull. I'll take it. I didn't have it. Reversal, Reversal Trigger is not bad either. Um, We have one pack left. We can still pull something out of this last pack. We got both Dialga and Palkia out of the Plasma Blast packs. We can pull an Arceus. That'd be great. No, I'm just joking. There's no Arceus in the set. Oh, another Machamp, bro. Oh, man. Eh, I'll take it, though. Or Dialga and Palkia. I'll take it. All right. Uh, we've won the coin flip. All right, nice. We will go first. Battle of the Bidoof gameplay collection stuff. And we do start Tauros here. Hmm. Really hoping we can draw a Spike Mouth or Old Cemetery. That would be pretty good. Because we do have the Air Balloon. We can Balloon and Retreat. Oh, we're playing against a Blissey deck. Okay, I actually have an idea here. We can leave Tauros in the active spot. And look at that. We got the, we got the thing anyways. Ooh, this is a pretty good hand. We can leave Tauros in the active. They hit me with Blissey. They'll take damage. They're going to Raging Bolt KO them. They'll have to do Blissful Blast. Here's what we'll do. We'll Quick Ball. For another Tauros. Bench it. Balloon Retreat. Sway. Okay, so we'll play this. Retreat, take some damage. Switch in, take damage on that Tauros. Attach the energy and pass. And then next turn, if they Blissful Blast me, we can knock them out with Raging Bull. Potentially. That's the plan. Yeah, because we can retreat again into the other Tauros and then keep sw swapping the damage. They could put a Path of Peak in play. We do have five stadiums in the deck, so we don't really have to worry about Path as much, which is good, but that could be a problem for sure. We should be able to KO them here, though, with Raging Bull if they Blissful Blast, which they'll have to do to put energy on. They could also just not do it. There is the chance my opponent just doesn't attack me here. We'll see. Our energy, that makes it even better. I know she had a cape on this, though, not gonna lie. Okay, they have a Hapu. See if they have... I'm really hoping, though, we can actually spike them out this Taurus. I'm hoping they don't bump my stadium here. We'll see. Hopefully they attack me, and then they don't bump the stadium. Ooh, they lose... Oh my gosh, four supporters? Oh, but they got a cape, though. Okay, never mind. That makes it harder. Now I'm hoping they do attack me, because that will even make it even easier for us. No attack... Attack it and no Path of the Peak, please. That would be great. Nice. They do hit me here for 60, which is a lot of damage to take. We get full value out of our place. Let's see if we drop Pokemon for a con. No, we do a... Okay, that's good, though. We can save that, all right. Here we go. Retreat. We need to find an energy here, so that's going to be a close one. Going to the Tauros. Got the energy. And we got Jinx. Okay, pretty good hand. Can bench this. I do want to get a Spirit Tomb down. You probably go Corvettes. Let's go Attach. Um, Raging Bull. Give me 220. Hmm. Actually. Not sure it's actually a KO. Okay, well, we do want to hit them anyways. So, regardless. This is why I do want to get a Jinx in play. Or, not Jinx, a Spirit Tomb. I think I just hold the hand though. I'm gonna go Oracorio next turn. I think I hold and just go Raging Bull. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Hold the hand. Yeah, not a knockout. It's a pretty hard though. We got 8 HP. They could heal this turn. They can easily they can kill me with Blissful Blast with the heal, which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Let me kill the other Toro. So we get because we go Houndoom here with the calm. That's why I saved the Jinx. I'm like, well, we can calm next turn. We have a pretty good hand too. We have Bruno. There's a research. Ooh. Oh, they play Crushing Hammer. That's annoying. They do lose two ropes, though. But rope actually helps us because it does make them take damage. Now, I am expecting them to actually hit. Yeah, there's the... Okay, there's the Hyper Potion. Still KO them, though. I am expecting them. There's the Path, the Peak. That's what I was scared of. Still, again, we have four stadiums in the deck. So, hopefully we don't whiff a stadium off our Bruno, our top deck here. We should be fine to deal with this Blissey. We also need to rod back the energy, too. That's two energy down for our Spirit Tomb. We also need to get a Spirit Tomb in play at some point. We still need to work for a lot. We still need to do a lot of these Blissies, but we got to take down this Blissey because if they do build up these other Blissies, they can knock me out. But the nice thing is they have a Blissey Blast me, which plays into the Tauros anyway, so some synergy there. All right, what do we top deck? Right off the bat, we draw the Spike Mouth. You love to see it. 
We do have a recording in the deck, right? We do. I guess we could have went Quick Ball. No. We'll go Houndoom. I'd rather do Houndoom first and then Bruno. Get the thin to the deck by energy. Bruno here. We need to get the KO. Okay, not bad. Tomb's good. We didn't get any switching cards just yet. We'll comp for Corio. We need to work towards a knockout on this Blissey. That's the big thing we want to do. I want to get a switch. Nope. No such luck. I think we are... Seven... I think we're just short on the KO because we also didn't get a power for energy. Hold on. Well, we're not short just yet. We can still get there. We go to the spike mouth, unfortunately. We can grab Jinx. We need a powerful energy here. But we did get switch and balloon, so that yeah, it still works out. Um Yeah, it still works out in the end. That still works out. Alright, we still got him. By the skin of our teeth, but we we still got there. It's all good. Uh, we didn't get a cape on this, so we can actually get knocked by Blissel Blast. We do have a KO, because that's 180. Yeah, that is a knockout. That is a knockout, I'm pretty sure. It should be 200 on the dot, yeah. Okay, nice. Alright, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Hopefully we don't get knocked down return. I wish I got a cape. I should have maybe just put the cape on the Tauros, but I was expecting to not get the knockout there, but it's all good. There's a power energy. We got another spike mouth too, which is good. So hopefully we live the turn. They, actually, I don't think they can one-shot me here because Blissful Blast at most can do 60. Oh no, they can knock me out. They get a powerful energy, I guess. They are down a few of them though, so they might not find it. Rushing Hammer. Uh-oh. Don't get heads. I said don't get heads. So we can earn that back though. We might not be able to put the energy back on those. We can have to attach for turn. As long as they don't get a double Crushing Hammer. It's fine. We got another Stadium. That's not a powerful energy. All right, that's good. Yeah, we should, put the, we should have put a cape on this. Ooh, they do stamp me to four. Hmm. Not a very good hand. Didn't get a supporter. We also didn't get a bird keeper switch off that. That's annoying. That stamp actually might do me in. No, but they got a cape though, so it doesn't matter. Yikes. Honestly, I might hard retreat the Tauros. I mean, we have 10 HP left. We're not going to be able to kill the Blissey unless we can get a cape on though. That stamp, we really need to get like a Bruno or something. Or Bird Keeper. Nope. No such luck. We could try to attack him with the coin flip. This feels so bad. That's a really bad whiff. They haven't played a boss yet either. They probably have boss in hand. So if I do hide... I mean, we. I feel like we have to retreat here, right? We're going to have to retreat behind Jinx and just pray they don't have a boss. They don't have a boss. Tauros is heavily damaged. We can still find like a cape or something. But it can still work out for us. We could even boss our other Blissey. We could boss our other Blissey, but then Jinx is stuck in the active. I'd rather them just knock out Jinx here. Pass and pray they don't have a boss. They probably do though. We're probably going to lose our Tauros. We'll have to swing with Spirit Tomb and then try to build up another Tauros. Yeah, there's the boss. Oh, we actually target Houndoom, which is just as bad because now we can't build up the Tauros. We have no energy left for Spirit Tomb either. Uh oh. Yeah, this is that. That was a big boss. I knew they had it, but I wasn't expecting the Houndoom. Actually, they could have even killed Oracorio, but oh, that's pretty bad. It's not good. We might actually take an L here, guys. This is not looking good. There's Cape. And Tribute. We need a supporter. We got one. The Hound Hour, too. We need a. We need to also get the energy back for Tomb. So. I think we still want to just go into Jinx. They still probably have a boss in their hand, though. So going Jinx here is still probably just not going to work out for us. I don't think we have much of a choice. We can't take a KO this turn. We can't even attack this turn. So we have to just play it slow for a turn, I think. Damn, my opponent is just really doing me in with this freaking Blissey. Um, we can Omnish Posture. 
There's only really an ominous posture too, though, to be honest. I kind of want to keep the damage on both these things. I think we just pass. We'll have to let the Jinx die, and then we can Bruno next turn. Hopefully, they don't have another path to peak, though. They are only down two, so they probably do. <laughs> There's another boss. Yeah. They're going to take out Oracorio. Nice. So now they're one boss away from winning. And they found the path? Bro, what? Where are these hands coming from, bro? Yeah, okay, this is bad. So they kill my Oracorio. It's not good. We have to kill the Blissus turn to have a shot of winning the game. They're getting so much stuff, though. This is bad. And yeah, that top deck does nothing for us either, of course. We have to try to kill them this turn if we're going to win the game. Our only hope. We can get there. No switch, bro. That's what I was hoping for, too, is get a switch. I think we do have a KO, though. I think we do have the knockout on the Blissey here. So there is still a chance. We do have the KO on the Blissey, I'm pretty sure. We have to put a lot of damage on this. But how are we going to take out this last Blissey? It's a question. So 150. So that is a KO. So we have the knockout here. Um, we do have the KO. Now we just need a... But we don't have... The problem is we don't have any energy left for the other Spirit Tomb to finish off this last Blissey. That's where things get a little sketchy. Um, so let's just Raging Bolt for the knockout. I think we are going to fall short here, though, guys. I think we are just going to fall short because we just don't have a way to build up this other Spirit Tomb. Now we do. I didn't know Rob was prized. I thought it was in the deck. I swear I, swear I saw the rod. Okay, we got another Tomb. This is perfect. We can win next turn. Um, we just have to hope that they don't stamp me, but they are down two stamp and they don't play three probably. So we might have a shot of winning this game, guys. There might be hope. Oh, they get the next cape though. Okay, that takes the hope away a little bit. Oh, and they fully heal. No. Oh my God. I think we lost. I don't think. Well, okay, hold on. No, we can still maybe win. We still have switch. Okay, no, we can still maybe win. Hold on. I misspoke we can still win but we need to get a lot though i think we have a lot left i think we can still win this the hyper potion cape really bad not gonna lie but i think there's still a chance we can do over 300 damage to this pussy can we get there about to find out here we go here we go we want to raw just the two energy back no, we're guaranteed to draw our whole deck here. We just want the one energy back, actually. Here we go. Will we be able to beat my opponent? Or well, not our whole deck. We still have two switch. Maybe I should have put back the... Maybe I should have put back two energy. I need to find one of the switches, though. We might find both switch, actually. We do need quite a bit to win, but there is actually a chance. I think we can build up Houndoom. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Put a thing on Houndoom. matter what we do just research Here we go research nice i think we got him we can go switch into spirit tomb how much hp do we have 30 oh no are we no we're not 10 off no no because we can double jinx with the hound because the hound put the damage on itself yo this is like big brain freaking plays holy we can go jinx jinx I think that's game. I'm pretty sure we're doing just enough to KO them here. Let's go. Oh my God. What a match. I'm going to wrap up the video with this game, obviously. But that was a freaking close game. I didn't think we would honestly win that. Those 300 HP Blissies are hard to deal with. But Tauros did get the job done. And we swept up with a Spirit Tomb in the end there. So that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Tauros deck. Overall, I think it's pretty decent. Um, I think it does play a little bit like a bit of a scuffed Spirit Tomb. But at the end of the day, the Tauros can still do quite a bit of damage, as you saw with Raging Bull. I think the Tomb does complement it pretty well, too. Um, so I didn't really feel like a bad deck at all. I probably want to play more supporters, but I don't know what other supporters to play. I feel like having Oracorio, five stadiums, it should be enough to not have bad draws. So maybe if you want to add like another supporter, maybe you could play like more research 
Not sure the two Brunos were really that good, but I mean, Bruno was still pretty good, but I'm not sure. Like, it just sucks in the early game, you know? So, I don't know. There could be some changes made to the deck overall, but I don't know. I liked it. It was cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 18 thousand subscribers check out car cabin if you get any codes over at car cabin use code ldf link down below check out my socials my twitch my twitter my patreon thanks for watching have a good day